Whew, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to episode of Fish with Flair. Today, we are fishing. I know, I feel like I haven't fished in, in years, and guess what? Special guest. Well, not special guest. Special location I'm with a special, special guest. I'm always special. Okay. We are at Walmart, but we're not in Nebraska. Where are we at, John? South Dakota, for once. We're up in the great state of South Dakota. Basically, what we're trying to do is, well, get away from the heat. That was pretty much the only plan. I'm like, John, you know what? It's supposed to be like a trillion degrees in Nebraska. Let's get the hell out of here. And he's like, all right, let's go up South Dakota. So that's where we're at. Today, our goal, we've got one goal. We have the 10 pounder with us, brought it all the way up from Omaha. Today, we've got one goal and one goal only, to do a catch and cook on the boat. That means we might fillet a bass, might fillet a bluegill, might fillet a walleye, no idea where we're even going to go fishing, but of course, gotta go, gotta go to the store. The greatest store on planet Earth, total joke. Where are we going? Home and pharmacy? Market. Home and pharmacy. We just gotta pick up a couple things. I know, all, all you guys are commenting. It seems like Flair goes to Walmart every single video and has to buy everything that he already bought before. Listen, all right? I'm buying stuff I don't have, damn it. Leave me alone. No, I don't know. I'm just pointing. I'm literally just spinning in circles, pointing. You're like the catch and cook god. Like what's? You know, like so we we did a catch and cook on. The, we're gonna use a butane grill. Yeah. And it didn't get hot enough last yeah. time, so I think we get a smaller pan. Okay. Just do smaller amount of portions. I would. I mean, I would like. I'm thinking like an eight inch. I think. We'll I think the smaller oil. the better. Yeah, I think smaller better as well. Okay. So three that's three though. bucks, man. I'm. Yeah. I'm over here balling. A little on bigger bucket. though, but yeah. No, that'll be fine. Eight inch, right? That should be good. Yeah, eight inch yeah. nonstick. I didn't bring my kitchen with me, so you guys maybe. Yeah, quit buying stuff. You already have a pan. I don't with me, okay? I don't know why that's the voice that I give my audience, but it just is. Should we just go all bougie and whatnot for no reason? No, you can't use metal on those though. Oh, it scrapes off oh, the true. non-stick. True. So we can't do that. 497 might that might be your best bet. Right that's there. Good. That'll work. We only need that. We're going we're going bare bones. Bare friggin' bones. Should we go with the kegger? Yeah. Like a little guy. No, the kegger. Kegger. Full sends only, boys. Right. Butane, that's what we need. We're gonna be cooking on a little butane. We already I already have a little, it's like a little Thing that spreads out that holds the thing. You guys know what I'm saying. Do you need something to light it though? A lighter? Yep, there you go. This would have uh, well, it would have been botched if I didn't just think of that. What are you vibing on? I can never decide. Is there really a difference? I don't think so. Everybody but... always says to cook in peanut oil. Like if you want it to be good, okay. peanut and corn, but it's expensive, man. That Real expensive. sounds healthy too. True. And we're all about the gains on this channel, so. True, okay, so we're, are, we, are we rocking great value veggie oil? Okay, let's just see what it says. Great for salad dressing, frying baking. It says the same thing. So what's the difference? We're getting it. And flour. We don't need like a lot, a lot. Do you think anything like this guy? Yeah. A little one dollar. Yeah. Hot buffalo. You ever done that? <laughs> so you just want to rock the normal? Couldn't forget the most important thing of catch and cooks, wing sauce. Goodness, that sun is bright. We made it, folks. Uh, well, we made it out of Walmart. We didn't make it to the, the spot where we're gonna be doing our fishing, but John's enjoying himself. We've got all the goods. It's time to go to the lake. It's time to go fishing, man. I feel like I have not fished in such a long time, I've got the itch. Got the itch to go fishing, so you guys stay tuned. Woo. And we made it to the lake, folks. You got the spotters on? Yeah, this is the problem of having glasses, but no sunglasses with prescription. You gotta do this. Is that the new is that the new style? Why don't you get the wraparound ones? I could, but that's like 80-year-old kind of stuff. Oh like. no, you'd look you could pull it off. Think so? Yeah, for sure. Well, look at the 10 pounder, ladies and gentlemen. It is dusty. You see? It's dust. You know what happens? You don't use things for a long time. So it's dusty. We gotta wipe the dust off this guy. Who do we have rigged up? Nothing for bluegills. Or, well, we got a couple basslers or walleye. So we probably should get something else rigged up. It's really calm. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling a topwater bite. But the thing is, though, I've never really caught fish here on top water. Where do you catch fish here? Like under docks. You just flip oh, docks. But oh. like, I've never caught them like on a frog here. Like, never. Really? Today might be the day we change that. You guys stay tuned. Boom! Wow, this feels weird. Feels weird. I, I don't have my sea legs anymore. I lost them. I had my farm legs. What are the odds this thing starts? Wow. I was not expecting that. And here we go, folks. We're pulled up to the spot. The dock's right there. But first, I gotta say huge thanks to our sponsor on today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, you might not know, but Mr. Tackle Box is a huge supporter of myself and the rest of the Guggen Squad, and it's an awesome company that sends tackle directly to your doorstep every single month, whether it's bass fishing, ice fishing, pan fishing, walleye fishing, they got what you need. So, if you guys wanna sign up for a Mystery Tackle Box yourself, all you gotta do is use promo code SMALLFISH. Click the link at the very top of the description down below, and uh, you get your first box as low as $5. So, we're gonna quickly unbox this thing, take one, a couple of these lures out of here, and go fishing. 
Boom. We're gonna do this quick because uh, I wanna catch some fish. This is a Carl's Amazing Baits. This is the hunch, little jerk bait. That might actually work. There's some shad in this lake. Next, we've got Riot Baits. It's a little worm here that actually, I'll probably wacky rig that thing today, flipping under docks and stuff. You can tell there's absolutely no wind. So a little wacky rigged worm, just like this natural color. That's gonna be the deal. Next, we got Big Bite Baits, little swim baits in there. You can see right there, a little paddle tail, throw them on the back of a chatter bait. Right here, we got a Weston. This is the Green Ghost suspending swim bait. That could come into play around docks. Big swim baits around docks sometimes are the key to catching giant bass. Next, we got a Lucky Craft square bill. We're talking about high-end stuff here, folks. That's also a bluegill pattern. That's probably what I will throw today as well. Around the docks, there's lots of bluegills in here. So that's the next bait. Lastly, we've got Carolina Rig right there. You can see it's a kit ready to rock and roll. If you guys don't know what Carolina Rig is, well, lucky for you, right there, they explain how to set it all up. So you could put, you could Carolina rig this thing if you wanted to, you could Carolina rig the swim bait. You can learn to Carolina rig anything, and that's for deep fishing. Don't know if we'll do that today, but we might do that a little bit later on this week. This is what's inside. It's got the pricing and everything else on if you guys want to take a look at it. A dope fishing sticker here, and Dibble's Digest right here. This has a whole bunch of good stuff to look at and analyze and study. It's like, it's like studying, you know, for school, but for stuff that's more important than school, which is fishing. Anyways, that's what's inside the box. I'm gonna get some stuff tied on. Let's go fish. All right, here we go, folks. Get the old worm out. Dude, that color is straight sauce. We got perp, we got green, we got flake. What more would the fish want? A little weighted wacky. We're gonna just stick it right in the middle there. Boom. Look at that thing. Right under the docks. Absolute friggin' bass candy. All right, next bait. We got two going here. We're gonna roll with the old lucky craft crank. So it's gonna be the the one-two dock punch. It's gonna be the search bait and then the more dialed in bait that you throw if you know there's a fish under there. If the dock looks extra sauce. You hit the outside of the docks with the crank bait, inside of the docks with the worm, and boom, bang, you got yourself a bass. All right, pulling up to the first dock here. This is where magic can happen. I like I said, we're doing catch and cook. You obviously saw I'll go go to Walmart and get all the goods. Well, we're not cooking largies. Whether you want to see that or not, ain't happening. Not today, at least. I cannot resist bass fishing. I, I'm like, dude, I got the itch. I've been farming for the last month or two. I need to go fishing. But John, John on the other hand, big panfish guy. Look at him. Doesn't he just look like a panfish guy? So John's task tonight is to catch dinner. My task tonight is just to have fun and catch largemouth. As soon as John wrangles up a few panfish, we're gonna throw them on the grill. We brought the grill out here on the boat. When I grow a little burner and a pan, all the goods that you saw us buy at Walmart, we brought out on the boat. So that way we don't have to stop fishing. We can literally fish, catch fish, eat fish, and keep fishing all at one time. Life is good. So that's the plan right now, but I gotta catch myself a little largey. All right, so Andrew's doing big things over here, catching bass. I have to catch dinner. So I'm gonna show you guys a little setup what I'm using here. Going back to the super, super, super basics. Just got a little hook right here. Got a few split shots. We got a slip bobber. And today, the bait of choice are some lovely night crawlers that we picked up. Oh yeah, those look succulent. But we're gonna put these guys on the old slip bobber rig. Hopefully catch some dinner. Oh, oh, uh oh, I see him eating it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, golly. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, God, oh, yeah. God, that'll oh, eat. gosh, yeah. Sheesh. First one of the night, eh? That's a bluegill if I've ever seen one. All right, he's dinner. Well, I think we're going to plan on keeping around four bluegills. Just enough for a little meal here. We don't need anything more than that. Oh, my goodness. All right. Some tank hybrids right there. All right, Andrew spotted some tanks. What's down there? What's that? What's down there? Uh, some bluegill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, cheese and rice. Oh, God. Uh oh, Go, he's strip and drag. He's, he's got strip and drag. He's got your oh gosh, in the trolling motor. That's a giant, dude. Oh, that's a freaking dude, giant. There we go, hybrid. dude. That's a big one. That's a big one. There. That's there. a big one. That's that's gonna fill up the dinner plate. All right, we got a little hybrid right here, a little green sunfish. Look at that belly, though. I mean, that's that's pretty big for a green sunfish. I feel like he'll fillet nice. There we go. Biggin. Oh God, yeah. Biggin. Oh, dude, that's a, that's a, oh, wow. Another eater, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just another big one, though. It's number three. What do we need? One more. One more. We almost got dinner. We almost got dinner, and Andrew still hasn't caught a fish yet. This is the first time you've been murking me in a challenge. Dude, this wow. is, this is a challenge, though. Kind you're of. catching fish, and I'm not. So kind of, yeah. what you want, but. No, that happens all the time. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Holy. A little rusty there, bud? A little bit. There's one. Oh! Biggin. Here we go. Here we go. There's one right there. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Light tackle. Light tackle. Light tackle. Light tackle. 
Oh, dude. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. You oh, geez. Oh, geez. I did. This is definitely him, dude. You caught the fish I missed. Oh, don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, don't jump. Oh, golly. Oh, gosh. For the assist. Okay. I got him. Okay, you get him for me? I'll get him for you. Don't you worry, guy. Let's go, boy. Oh, that's a decent yeah. bass, dude. Oh, yep. snap. That's a Canadian two step right there. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> I literally missed him and you threw in behind me and caught the fish I missed. Hey. Sometimes it just takes the basics, you know? Some, sometimes you gotta go back to the basics. Mm -hmm. It did, it 100% bit my bait yeah. and I lost it and you just went yep. right in there and smoked him. Straight chowder. What a little Larry. There we go. Look at that guy. Not bad. Not catch a cook material, but. No, 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 fun. we probably it's shouldn't. Fun. We probably shouldn't catch yeah. him. See you later, guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there you have it. All it takes is a slip bobber. No, I had him. I'm not giving up yet. I had him. I hooked him, and it came off. John flipped in there and caught him. So, good, good work, John. It's called the Canadian two-step. Just made it up, but it worked. We're going to keep on fishing through these docks just for a little bit. John has three bluegills. John has to needs to catch one more. As soon as he catches one more, we going to throw them in the grease. Uno mas, por favor. Uno mas. Got him. Got him. Oh, What's these yep. We're hooked up. We're hooked up on the old riot worm. Oh, let's go, son. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come to daddy. Bring it in here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that little wacky worm. Dude, the same dock. The same dock John just caught the fish. I flipped right back in there and smoked him on the riot bait. Gave it a little dangle. Jimmy, Jimmy liked it. He thought that was pretty enticing. See you later, buddy. Boom. Finally caught a largy. That was fun. I have not caught a bass like that in from a boat in feels like months. It's gonna be back, boys. Oh golly. Oh snap. Hold up. It was like a th two and a half, oh, three wow. pounder. See him? Skip under there, yeah, oh I gotta get I gotta get position, boys. Boom. Ooh. Goes the dynamite. Dude, come on. Well, I need to go back there and catch the gills, eh? There he is. Got him. Oh god, he's got me wrapped. He's in Oh god, dude, he's got me in the dock. Come on, come on, come on, get up. Yep, I got him out. I got him out. I got him out. I got him out. Oh my god, dude, it's a tank. It's a tank. It's a tank. Like a biggin. Like a real biggin. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, dude, it's huge. Oh god, I gotta lose my drag. Oh god, stay away from the dock. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't come undone. Don't come undone. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Come here. Yes! <laughs> Look at it! Oh, the worm came off. Look at it. Oh my god. What a freaking beauty. I, I might I think that might have been the same fish. Dude, that's bigger than I thought though. That's pushing four pounds. A tank of a largemouth. I cannot believe I got him outside of that dock, dude. Some light finesse Guggen line. A boom. That is a beautiful fish. Ah, oh, feels good to be back. Feels good to hold a nice fat largemouth like this right here. Alright, Sheila. Thanks for playing, girl. Woo! Sheesh! Wow, folks. We did it. Caught ourselves a big old largy. Pretty sure we sight fished it. It's kinda. We saw it prior to catching it. Uh, but now John needs to catch one more freaking bluegill. And then we're chefing it up right here on the 10 pounder. You guys stay tuned. Oh, we're catching one more. We said four. Oh, I have one. Here we go. Or it's a weed, one of the two. There we go. Yep. Bacon? Oh, she's eatable. She's eatable. That's a good one. That's, That's like a real bluegill bluegill. Well, last one. We're done. All right, well, it's time to dump out the baits. We're, this is multi-purpose. Multi-use mystery tackle box here. It's gonna be used as a cutting board. Shout out to them for hooking it up fat. But we've got this thing. This is a butane little cooker and we got this thing that we bought earlier. So I feel like if, if a boat comes by, it's gonna be a juggling act. I say uh, I say we start getting to the, the flaying, the flaying of the fish. Boom. We're gonna take the old knife here. We're just gonna make a little cut like this right behind this fin. Oh, this is nice and sharp. That's good. That's good. So there's many ways to clean fish, but I'm just gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do a way where I cut down right here and follow the spine all the way down. I'm gonna take this, flip it over, and get the meat off. Then we're gonna find the old spine right there. Once we find it, we're gonna just start going down this spine like this. Boom. Look at that. Then we're gonna take the meat off of the skin. Just gonna flex the knife super hard and get off the skin like that. Then we're left with this right here, but this right here is actually the rib cage, and so an easy fix is just take your knife and cut right by it like that. And just do this. 
And boom, there's our fillets. These are gonna be golden crispies here pretty soon, but we got three more fish to do. So we gotta start filleting. Boom, golden crispies. That's dinner. Fire it up. Oh God. Is it going? I'm not too sure about the sounds of this. All right, we gotta get the oil hot. We really don't want uh, any boats to come by. Wow, it actually looks pretty even. All right, we gotta hurry up and quickly get all the ingredients together. We need Franks and flour and some Ziplocs and we'll be good to go. Ooh yeah, liquid gold, baby. So we're gonna start off by throwing each golden crispy, well, they're not golden and crispy yet, but each filet in the bag of Franks. Let them soak for a little bit. Give them a nice shaking, let them sit. Grab your flour. All right, grab your other Ziploc. Get your flour game on. We'll do about, I just say we do half. We do, what would be half be? Four fillets? Yeah, four fillets at a time. That'd be half of the fish. We'll do four at a time just to keep the oil hot. In they go to the flour. A little dusting. That's three, four. Give them a shaking. Okay, I'm gonna fire this back up. Oh yeah, it's hot. It's popping. Oh God, the boat's rocking. All right, we're gonna get him in. Oh God, I just sprayed oil everywhere. It's really popping. Okay. You know, I wouldn't really recommend doing this, but it's working. It's just a little dangerous when there's boat traffic. Look at them, they're just getting after it. This is probably the quickest field to table, water to plate. What do you call it? I mean, we literally caught them and ate them within 30 seconds. These, these things were alive less than five minutes ago. Couple bluegill. Sioux Falls. Say no, nah, I'm from Sioux Falls. No, nah, I'm from Sioux Falls. <laughs> this kid just goes, hey, y'all catching any? I said, yeah, some bluegill. He goes, where are you from? You sound familiar from YouTube. We'll go talk to him after. I feel like, a, I feel like kind of a jerk. He's probably like, oh man, I thought that was flair. All right, first batch of golden crispies are done. That's fresh right there, son. All right, round number two. We're done, only had one decent burn on the foot. Let's see how they taste. Here we go. John Boat, deck, grill, fryer, catch and cook. Oh God, yeah. That is so fresh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. John, you gotta try some of this. Dude, that's fire. Wow. Fire. Who am I? Wow. Roll the clip. I understand. Wow. I get it. Wow. Mm. Bakery, wow. bake. Wow, wow, wow. How's it going? Are you Flair? Yeah. Oh, he just went over there and checked for your truck. You guys like eating bluegill? You gotta tell the audience that it's not cheap. They don't, they don't believe me. All right, you gotta try some of this. You gotta let us know if it's any good. That ain't too bad. Pretty decent? Right, pretty good, it's pretty good. It's not bad? No, it's pretty good. Well, all right, there you go. Now you know I'm not just full of it. What did you guys, what's your name? Dalton. Dalton? Cooper. Cooper and Dalton. Cooper and Dalton, they were the ones that were yelling earlier and I joke, jokingly said I was from Sioux Falls. And then they drove, I, I didn't know you guys drove around. They drove around to see if my truck was there. Decided to give the boys some bluegill and hey, they like it. Woo, well, right, we made it. We parked the boat. Time to go camping, John. We need to go up down yonder and find a camp spot for us for the night. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. The camping adventure that we're about to go on will be another episode. So you guys are going to tune into the next video that I upload. But for now, that is today's upload. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, let me know in the comment section down below. Remember, if you guys want to miss your sacrifice for yourself, it'll be linked down below. Make sure you use promo code SMALLFISH to get your first box for as low as $5. Caught a good bass. Missed a smaller bass. John caught it. John caught four bluegills. And we filleted him up and met some dope viewers who ate the fish with us and they said it was good so life was good this is a good video i feel i feel good it's like kind of traveled got away from home for a little bit caught a bass we got some bluegills ate some stuff fried some stuff back baby and back to my roots if you guys enjoy the back to roots episode that we filmed today again let me know in the comment section below remember to subscribe if you haven't yet because this channel is lit make sure you hit the little bell thing the little notification make sure you turn notifications on because sometimes youtube likes to not send out notifications and not likes to not put my videos in your guys sub box so if you want to make sure you get the videos, make sure you click the little bell down there and uh, set on post notifications. Again, make sure you like this video. Drop a comment down below if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.